Okay, so all joking aside, this is actually a serious problem with me. I'm trying to sleep in my bed, and uh, while well, I keep hearing this new uh, clock that I got from my wall. I want a full-size clock for my wall rather than like an alarm clock or something. I just like it better. Plus, I like this one especially because it has a little thermometer thingy and a little humidity thingy built into it. And I thought this was a cool clock. It would be perfect for my room. So, anyways, uh, I got it and I put in a battery and all night long, especially at night because everything for some reason gets louder at night, but all night long I hear that clicking sound. The clicking sound that you heard during the uh, the beginning part of this video, that's unaltered. That's just raw clockola over here. So in this video I'm going to show you how to quiet this down so you can get some sleep easier. Or just to have a, a nice quiet room without that constant click 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 click. So anyways obviously the first step is to take the damn battery out. <laughs> and you can set that to the side for now and we have to get the uh, works out of the clock. To do that we have to get this plastic thing off. Uh, and this particular one, it just snaps in place. You can see little things. Right there where it just kind of snaps and clicks into place. But some clocks have like screws that go around it. And some clocks, you know, just, it, it depends what type of clock that you have. But the first step we have to do is we have to get the uh, Clear plastic part out because we have to get these hands off and these hands are just pressed fitted on so they just pop right off like so go to the back side and this works part now can can now uh, snap off And now we're ready to go to the next phase. Alrighty, so we have this. Now, taking these apart can be rather intimidating at first, but if you're at all nervous, you can always take your uh, little smartphone thingy or any digital camera and take pictures as you go along so you know the exact order things go back together. But for this particular one, there are these little things here on the side, plus the one more right there that you just undo. Like so, and careful you don't set this down all the way because that little part here will push all the gears up and if this is your first time and you don't know the order that you took the gears out, they'll get all messed up. So. Hold it off the ground, then the top part here will come off, and this you can set up to the side, and then here you go. Now I happen to know the order of what, where all these gears go, so I'm not going to bother taking pictures. But this part comes out first, then this, then this. Be careful that this little gear right there, Be careful you don't lose that because that's the smallest one and that's the easiest one to lose. So that sets off there. This whole motor assembly then comes out. Then there's a few more gears in here. That comes out. That comes out. That comes out. And then this can set down. Now it's time to reassemble it, and all we're going to do is, as we go along reassembling it, we're going to take some of this 3-in-1 uh, oil. This the sticker came off years ago, but uh, that's all this is. You can get this at pretty much any auto, auto parts store or, or handy hardware store. It's just a basic 3, it, it's called 3-in-1 oil. And as we're going along, we're going to just oil up all the little tiny uh, hinges, or not the hinges, the little shafts and all that as we're going along um, and I, I want to stress this right now from the start 
be very careful that you don't use too much because if you use too much it could gunk up and that would may mean that your clock can't run as efficiently which means it won't keep accurate time but so we're going to start by dropping the all our gear in like so this is a shaft within a shaft so we have to make sure that this is uh, oiled up efficiently like so all right and there's this little gear here One little tiny drop in there is all you need. And this fits in between these two gears. All right. Now the motor assembly can go on. Now I wanna stress this. The motor assembly, try not, sorry. Try not to get any uh, oil on the coils or all that. You just want oil. One little drop of oil in there. That's all you want. One little tiny drop, and that that'll be it. This here can set in then. Oops. Like so. Oh yeah, I forgot. Because there's shafts on the back side of the motor assembly, I need to put oil in the two little holes there. Like so. A little drop there and a little drop there. That, those little drops are for that gear. Back here. A little drop here. For here. And then we just have to apply some little drops of oil for the uh, little bearings or the shafts for the gears fit on this side here. It snaps into place and all we have to do is reuse some more clock. Alright, so I got the uh, clock set to the proper time now, and I can tell you it's very nice and quiet now. I, I am going to appreciate that a lot because it was starting to become an issue when I was trying to sleep. I mean, after all, I had work in the morning, and, and I'm trying to sleep there, and I keep hearing this click, 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 click. And like, you know how things are at night when things, you know, people, you know, just, you just get things get louder and louder and louder and louder at night for some reason. Anyways, it's, it, that's, that's how you oil it up. And when you oil it up, it quiets, it quiets it down and it makes it, makes a very noticeable dif difference. Um, if you've tried this, by all means, do a video response or share it on my Facebook or, or, or something and let us know. I'd love to see it. With that said, I'd like to thank you all for watching and you all have a good day.